Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome, my name is Deb. Today's video, I want to talk about the products that I've been loving in the month of March. I actually don't have a ton of products to talk about today, so I expect this video to be too long. I feel like I'll be able to get through them fairly quickly. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and click the little bell so you're notified of my future uploads. And now let's get into it. So the first products I want to talk about are these cleansers from the Inky List. So this one is the Oat Cleansing Balm, and then this one is the Fulvic Acid brightening cleanser so this one actually just came out really recently i did up on the day it came out and the oat cleansing balm has been out for a while i've had this for a while but i actually like to use these cleansers together so i start off with the oat cleansing balm just as my first cleanse i've been doing double cleansing now for a while i've been using like an oil or a balm to remove my makeup before i go in with my cleanser and i found that's made a huge difference my skin just feels a lot cleaner and i feel like i'm definitely getting everything off I love the oat cleansing balm just to remove my makeup before i go in with my cleanser this one is like a balm texture it's into like an oil on your face and it really it removes all of your makeup and my skin just feels so hydrated after I use this and then after the oat cleansing balm I like to use the fulvic acid brightening cleanser and this just feels so nice on the face it this one is more of a jelly consistency and it says that it helps to brighten skin and gently remove makeup this one is a lot thinner than this one and I like to use this combination because my skin doesn't feel dry afterwards. There's so many cleansers where after I wash my face, my face feels tight and dehydrated. And after I use these, my face does not feel like that. It definitely feels clean. You can use these day and night and then just follow up with your skincare afterwards. And I highly recommend trying these if you guys haven't already. Now getting into makeup, I want to talk about the Natasha Denona. This is the mini retro palette. So I've been using this palette a ton. I picked it up from Sephora a little while ago. I had just been seeing it all over Instagram and had my eye on it for so long. So I finally just picked it up. I had a gift card for Sephora. So I was like, I'll just get it now. And I've been loving it. Honestly, Natasha Denona eyeshadows are so good. I mean, the full size palettes, I don't know if I would ever just one. They're a little pricey. And even this, like this is a really small palette and it was like 33 Canadian dollars, I think. It is pricey but I think it's so worth it their shadows are so so easy to work with love these little palettes because you can honestly create so many looks with it but there's only five eyeshadows they're so versatile so this one comes with two matte shades like a light pinky taupe color and then this gray shade and then it comes with three shimmers these two pinks and then this silver shimmer so I used this palette on my eyes today to just create like a neutral smoky eye and I just absolutely love it. It's so, so easy to work with. Definitely want to pick up more of these mini palettes. Again, I don't think I'll ever pick up a like full size Natasha Denona palette. They're just, they are so expensive. There are other eyeshadows out there that work just as well, but at like a fraction of the price. But and I do think it is worth the price if you are going to use it often. I'm happy I picked this up. For someone that loves cool toned eye looks, I think you will love this palette. And then I have to talk about the Jaclyn Cosmetics products that I picked up. I won't go too into depth because I have a whole video talking about them. I'm using these products, I think, every single day since video. I'm so obsessed, especially with this. This is one of the blush and bronzer duos. This one's in the shade Lilac Love and Top Tan. Loving this duo. It's like the perfect cool toned bronzer and blush and I love the purple toned blush I have nothing else like that the formula of these is so buildable you can go in with a really light hand and get barely any pigment or you can like layer it up and they build up so nicely the bronzer never looks muddy and I'm just so obsessed with it and I love that it comes with a big mirror I love the packaging it is a little bulky like I said in my review video but the products in here are just so good that I don't really care I can definitely see myself picking up more of these duos in the future. I also did pick up one of the other duos in Pink Me Up and Oh Honey, but I've just been loving this one. I'm a cool toned lover, so I've been loving this duo for every day. And then also these highlighters that I picked up. So this one is the Accent Light Highlighter in the shade Iced. I am so, so happy to finally have these in my collection. I've been using this highlighter every day it just looks so amazing it is like so blinding but so smooth it doesn't accentuate any texture or anything like that the formula of it is so smooth and the shade is just like the perfect shade for me i'm just obsessed with it 
don't think any other highlighter will ever compare to this as well as the beaming light highlighter these are so so blinding i have it in my inner corner today as my inner corner highlight and the other day i actually used this one on my face as my cheek highlight and it looked amazing it is like super blinding. I would recommend going in with an extremely light hand if you're gonna use this on your face. It definitely does look beautiful. And then I wanna talk about the e.l.f. Wow Brow. This is their brow gel. Isn't that new to e.l.f., but it is new in my collection. I've been reaching for this brow gel every day over my favorites. Like I love the NYX Brow Mascara as well as the Essence Make Me Brow, but I think I like this one even more. And this is only $4. I just love how thin the little spoolie is. Just so easy to just grab it, apply it, and done. Like the only thing I have in my brows today. Loving this one from e.l.f. Next up, I've been using this ColourPop Lippy Pencil non-stop. This one's in the shade O oh Snap and it is just the perfect mauve shade. I'm happy I finally have this shade in my collection. It's just like the perfect shade for me. It was made for me. It's such a pretty mauve shade. So this is what I have on my lips today and then I have the Stila Bocce Liquid Lipstick over and then the product that I'm going to talk about next, which is the Fenty Lip Cream. So I have the shades Mauve Wives, which is what I have on today over my Stila Liquid Lipstick, and then the shade Fenty Glow. So Mauve Wives is more of a purpley shade, and then Fenty Glow is a little bit more pinky. But these are so, so good. I do also have the regular Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. This one's in the shade Sweet Mouth. And I find these to be way, way better. I honestly never reach for this anymore now that I have these. Now, don't get me wrong. This is an amazing gloss. But I find these to be so much more creamier, long-lasting. And I think the formula is supposed to be like the same as this as well as the scent but I find these to have no scent this one has like a sweet scent to it these ones I find them to have any scent just so creamy and smooth out your lips and the shades are just amazing like I'm obsessed with mauve wives it's this just like mauve purpley shade and it's so so pretty it look a little bit like very purple and intimidating but when you apply it to your lips it actually is so wearable just a gorgeous shade. And then Fenty Glow is more of just like an everyday pink shade. It is just so, so pretty. Fenty Glow I find is perfect for just everyday to just throw on your You lip. don't need a lip liner or anything. It just gives like a slight tint to your lips and they're so hydrating as well. I would highly, highly recommend trying these out. So that's all for this month. Like I said, I don't have a ton of products to talk about but those were all products that I've been consistently using in the past month that I just can't get enough of. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.